Y'all know I'm always experimenting without trying something before I before I do it. So today we made, uh, it's pork, we used ground pork. It's got egg, cheese, and bacon pieces in it. And this one is a burger. So I made a burger pocket. It's got um, bacon, cheese, some dehydrated onions, and some um, no sugar added pickle relish. So stick around, let's see how these turn out. You know it'll be an adventure. I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of carnivore, keto, and counting calories. I reached my goal in November of 2022. Right now I'm doing an experiment with being carnivore-ish and counting calories. If you want to see the results, stick around and subscribe and we can see how it goes. Don't forget to click the like button. So I told you all I really wanted to try the sausage. And it's funny, I've seen so many of these pockets or calzones, whatever word you want to give them. I've seen a lot of different ones on TikTok and, and YouTube now. And so, um, so I, I, I know that where I saw the original one for me, but I don't know if that was the original one. So that's a thing of, you know, there's so many creators out there, content creators, and one person will create something and come up with an idea and someone sees it and they're like, oh, I'm going to make that too. So it's so hard to give credit where credit is due. Um, and I say that because, you know, I've seen things and I don't know how much of the things that I've done <coughs> are from other creators that I just don't remember. So anyway, I just want to say that, you know, there's a lot of amazing content creators out there. I'm not somebody who is, um, I don't like, I'm not a big on making brand new recipes. You all know that. I, I like the basics and that's what I like. Um, this is two pounds of ground pork, just ground pork. Um, it does say it has um, some flavorings and I think some salt. I can't flip it over because that's the other side. So I'm just going to kind of separate these into three sections. So that way, in a little bit, it'll be easier for me to grab them out. And um, they may not be perfectly even, but that's all right. I'm just going to do the best I can here because ground pork's not ground chicken. They just, everything's going to work different. So I don't know how this is going to work up, but you know me, I'd rather experiment with you all then find out how something really does and then show y'all my perfections. I like to, I like to experiment with y'all. All right, so we're doing breakfast. So think about breakfast sausage. I don't even know what all is on breakfast, what all is in. I think y'all have told me over the years before what is actually in breakfast sausage. I can't remember. Um, so I'm going to just get some I'll probably just put some farm dust on here and call it, call it a day. Um, but um, so I'm gonna flat. This is one. So this package is two pounds of ground pork, and um, I have. Um, so this is a four or half of a pound right here. So what I've got to go in it. Hang on, I just want to kind of get that dirty out of the way. What I had to go in it is I made. I scrambled up four eggs. And um, I've got some cheese in the refrigerator that, or in the microwave. That's what you keep here and beep. And so I've learned from my mistake, doubtfully, but maybe, to not overload these. We'll see. Maybe I learned it. Maybe I did not. So we're going to have um, the equivalent of one egg. I'm going to put on here. Now, I don't have macros for this, y'all, because um, I'm not taking the time to do it. You're welcome to plug that into your tracker and see um, one egg half pound of pork i don't know about a i'll just say two servings of bacon pieces but i but not exactly um there's that <clears throat> and finally i have some laughing cow cheese wedge that oh i should use my fork oh well some laughing cow cheese wedge i took um five of these little things and i put them in the microwave to to uh, to melt. So I'll just kind of spread this throughout. I know what I should do is mix that in with the eggs. 
That's what I might do with the rest of them. Just to make sure it kind of gets on all of it, you know. Maybe I'll do that when I'm done with this one. I'll just kind of mush it all around. I could add those eggs into that bowl. Where that is. Now I got it all gommed up here. You know I can't do nothing without gomming stuff up. Hello. It's me. I like to gom. Got to gom. Got to gom. So today's Saturday morning and I'm getting pretty doggone hungry. I already went to the Walmart. So um all right, we're gonna we're gonna let that be that. And um uh, maybe while this is still warm and melty, I'll go ahead. I probably need a bigger bowl. Hang on. Anyway, I'll do this off camera. I'm going to put my eggs and this cheese together and mix it up. So give me just a second. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and add some bacon bits to that. One, two, three. So that'll be kind of like a paste that I can put inside. We'll see how that works. May work great. May be a disaster. I have no idea. But now I'll put the mix up the cheese and the bacon pieces and the eggs and let that kind of become like a, I don't know, paste. Because I ain't worried about texture, you know that. So I don't really care if the, uh, you know, like if the eggs are, are textured inside of that pork. So, all right, I'll mix this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got that. We've got that over there and I'm just kind of scooting things back a little bit to make some room. Now, uh, I need to go on and preheat my air fryer to 400. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on. And before I do, I'm going to put one of these on the bottom and then I'm going to spray my air fryer. So just a second here. Okay, so now I've got some, you spray whatever you want to spray. I've got some avocado, um, avocado oil here. No, they make duck fat that's sprayable. So you spray whatever's going to work best for you and your mess stuff. So you ain't even got to spray it. All right, so I'm going to preheat that. While that's preheating, I'm going to go ahead and fold our pork over. Now I'm just going to kind of smush the sides together. I think I've seen some people do like the egg wash around the outer edges. I haven't needed to. Even whenever I've made my Frankenstein ones, they still stick pretty doggone good. But I do flip it over just to kind of check the other side. And I use a new one of these plastic wraps for each one. So from here, now listen, I've tried it different ways, y'all. I've done it uh, half of the egg wash in there, half of the egg wash you know, I've just done different things, and um, my biggest issue is getting that to land in there without splattering all over. So I'm looking for a little brush for my egg wash. Okay. So this is just one egg scrambled up real good. And I'm going to brush it here. Since it's 400, I know, you know, you can use butter too. Since it's 400, I don't know if butter would burn. I don't know if that would give it uh, like too much to where it would burn. I don't know. And then I've got my Parmesan cheese. Okay. Now, I'll take it this way. Flip it over. Do the same thing on this side. Telling you this one's gonna be my breakfast, and I hate that it takes 12 minutes because I'm hungry, Jack. Hungry, Jack. I am ready to eat. All right, we need some Parmesan cheese. You know, you could do this. You could make a. Well, I'm making four, but you could buy a bigger. You could buy that and make a make eight of them, or however many you want to make, and then you'd have that for your week for your meals. So this might be a good way of meal prep because I do freeze my other ones and they do fine. You know, I defrost them. Sure, they're a little bit wet, but 
you know, they, they, who care? I don't bother me none. I don't care about all that. So, all right, I'm going to let this finish preheating and I'll be back and we'll pop it in. Okay, it's done preheating. So, now we somehow gently managed to put it into the air fryer. Which, again, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. Hey, that worked. Go, Terry! Go, Terry! Not too shabby. All right, now I did it six minutes and six minutes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, seven. All right, I'll see you in six minutes and then we'll flip it. We're doing it, we're doing it. Okay, it's been six minutes, so I need to get it flipped. And on this one for the second half, now I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and make the other one. Okay, looking good, looking good. So now we'll do it for another six minutes. Now we're gonna set up another one. And then. Uh, okay. Since I kind of separated them for myself, now I can just use this spoon. Maybe, well, I still got my fingers dirty, but that's all right. I should call one of the D.O.G.s and have them, they could get my hands clean. Oh, just kidding, just kidding. All right. So now, like I said, since it's on that second half, now is, I think, I think, is a good time to go on and make another one. It's a good way to utilize my time while I'm waiting. You just kind of have to figure out what thickness works for you. Now this one is going off to the wrong direction. I want it to go over here. So I can have it. Hang on. Come on, fella. Get over there. Get a little egg mixed in with it, but that's all right. That's all right. There. Come here, little egg. All right. Yeah, so like you do want it to be kind of a round shape, if possible. So, and y'all realize I did not season that other one, right? I had seasoned my eggs, but I did not season the other one. And I said, big as life, I'm going to put farm dust on that. And no, no, I did not. So, but do I want on the inside or outside? I put a little on the inside and then a little on the outside. So I did this, I do this every time I make them, I forget to do the, add the farm, the seasoning. Okay, so there's a clump and there's a clump. So, put our little mixture in there. I think I like the fact that it's all kind of mixed together. It kind of keeps it all scooped together. Look at that. That's a lot nicer than fighting all the bulk and stuff. I'll have to do that with my pepperoni one. You know, I wonder if I took the pepperoni and uh, <clears throat> I wonder if I, uh, hang on just a second, this part I have to think about to do. Um, I wonder if I pureed up the pepperoni, since I'm not a texture person, I wonder if I pureed it and then um, in with like the cheese. I wonder how that would work. All right. So, now we gotta, I always have to remember where it opens up at. I can't ever remember. Which side? There we go. Alright, so now we'll get our egg wash for this side. Egg wash and parm. I've committed to making four of these, so I sure hope they taste alright. Alright, so there's our egg wash. Here's our parm. And I think I've made it without the parm also, and that worked fine also. So uh, you just kind of, again, you just got to, you know, whenever you watch videos like this or on the TikTok or anywhere, you just have to make them match what you can do. So if you can't have eggs, then don't use eggs. If you can't have, if you can't have meat, I don't know what kind of pot you could make. I'm sure there's something you could use instead of this. You could use flour and an egg for a pocket. I don't know. 
Don't ask me. I ain't a creator. I'm a copier. I'm a copycatter. I copy what other people do. But I do know I need to get out my little my little uh, drying thing, my cooling rack. Hang on. So, but again, that's how I do this one. So let me. I'm gonna set this on the somewhere. I don't know where I can set it. I got such a mess going on, y'all. Um, hang on. Before I forget, I did remember to do the farm dust on the outside also. So I've got the, and this is, I get mine on Amazon. I don't know where they sell it, but I think they sell it somewhere. But anyway, so I put that farm dust on the inside of the pork and then on the outside. 10 seconds, nine seconds. It's almost ready, Freddy. Almost ready, Freddy. All right, let's take her out. And Oh, I've got to aim it down a minute. Listen, ignore all that. My house is not. My kitchen is cluttered. Oh, and I don't have anything under it. Terry. Corn flab, my hide. I'm a hot mess sometimes. Just a hot, hot mess. All right, there we go. All right. Yeah, ouch. Looks, yeah, that looks done. So I'm going to set that one there. And, well, I'm going to go on and set... Let's get this one going, so hold on. This is the hard part. Sliding it in. All right, come on, fella. Don't do me wrong, don't do me wrong. Mm. All righty. Much better. By getting it all closed off, man, does it do a lot better. So again, so, come on, fella. So, six minutes, and when it gets the six minutes after I turn it, I'll make the next one. So, I'm going to make four of these today, but we got to let these little things cool down. And uh, when it cools and it's ready, I'll come back and show you. But look at that. Doesn't that look pretty full? All right, I'll see you in a little while. So, while this last one's in there, I also wanted to try like a bacon cheeseburger type thing. So I have some fat-free cheese that I rinsed off. If you rinse it off, it helps it melt better. So I also have um, uh, strained some of the no sugar added pickle relish. If you don't want, you know, if you can't have that, then no worries, don't do it. And then I'm gonna put in some bacon pieces. So, and then we're gonna put in some dehydrated minced onion so I'm just gonna put all this in a bowl and then I'm gonna microwave it and then that way um, as the cheese melts hopefully I'll be able to um, you know swirl it all together and let it kind of become a paste and divide this between two uh, burger pockets so now I've got it kind of mixed up a little bit here it's just cheese and bacon and then those onions and pickle, like I said. So I'm gonna microwave this at 30 seconds at a time until it becomes like a paste. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get my burgers ready, or my pocket. The ground beef ready for the pocket. Well, I then hit a snafu. There we go. So I'm gonna do half pound and half pound because they just fit better in my in my thingy. Sometimes I wish I had the big kind, but I don't. And I don't need one, because if I only do these pockets every now and then, it'd be dumb to go buy one. So, sometimes you gotta think smarter, not impulsive, Terry. That looks like about half of it. And I just heard the microwave beep, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this together. And then, I'm gonna actually go on and get them both together, then that way I can kind of have me a little clearance space here. Plus the paste will still be a paste and not a um, hardened mass. So, all right, give me a second, because I wanna check on the microwave and then we'll mash these out just a second okay it looks good but what I want to do is give it another like 30 seconds 
right before I put it in this. So this is the 96% lean ground beef. I did that on purpose because, you know, the fattier stuff kind of draws up. And um, so we don't want it to be drawn up. And I think I've got more in this one than that one. But that's all right. This day's Terry will be happier than the other day's Terry. Actually, I probably won't even know the difference. But um, anyway, so then smush these out just like we did the others. This is harder to work with because it's extremely lean. And like the ground chicken is so much juicier because it's always like just a lot more watery. All right, so now that I've got that pretty much how I want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look, I got it's time to flip this jobber. I'll show you again. Okay, so that's the top side that's been in the thing. And you can see the underneath side is definitely not done. So, in we go for six more minutes. And like I said, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run that microwave for another 20 seconds and then we'll, we'll build these up. Okay, so this has been heated up again. So I'm gonna put half on this one. Uh, yeah, I, I've told you all in the past, but just in case you're new, um, I use the fat-free cheese. Reason being, it's lower calorie. I also understand that most people come to keto and carnivore think, excited that they can have a lot of extra fat. And some people can do extra fat and live a happy, harmonious life. I've tried it in the past. And for me personally, Having all the excess fat did not make me feel full. It doesn't make me, it doesn't um, stay as long as it does, seems to, for other people. I still get hungry faster. So just remember, we all come at this from different, from different lifestyles and different, you know, previous ways of eating. So just because I do lean some, on some things and fatty on some things, and you don't, that's all right. We ain't got to eat the same thing. We're all on our, we'll say, different journeys because we all got here in different directions. So, I do really like making this a paste. Man, that's really good. So, um, I don't I don't know if I just said it or not because you all know my memory is two seconds long. Um, I do, I, it's the fat-free cheese. And if you rinse fat-free cheese off before um, you, you, you melt it, you microwave it, it will melt. So, uh, but most of the time fat-free cheese is kind of known for not melting. This is wood fire garlic and I'm going to put a little steak spice on it. Just kind of thinking of a steakhouse burger. You put whatever seasoning strikes your fancy. Again, if you're strict carnivore, don't you worry about. You ain't got to add the same things I add. Don't add the, don't add the relish and the whatnot. You just make it for you. But now comes the. Eep! I might have packed it a little too full. Look at me getting my hands dirty. Go Terry, go Terry. I can wash them. You can wash them. You can do it, girl. You can do it, girl. Alright, so now I'm just gonna make my little make my little pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and make two pockets and get this one done now, so come on now, feller. Don't do me wrong. Don't do me wrong. Take some of you and put you over here. Yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, I might as well just get all up in it now, y'all. I done, I done broke my code of, of, blackness. All right, so there's that. Now I gotta wash these hands, so hang on. All right, now I don't have these two ready to go in yet, but this one dinged, 
So this is one side and that's the other side. So it's looking good. So now I'm gonna put this on in. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it preheating so that way it stays hot. And now we'll go ahead and get our, uh, our burgers doctored up. So we'll go ahead and put a little a little egg wash on this one. You know, I have a question. My eggs get kind of gummy. I mix them and mix them, but there's always like chunks of the of the yolk in there that kind of hangs on to the to this or that. And so, like, is it because I didn't mix it, like stir it long enough? But sometimes there's like a chunk that hangs behind. So I was just curious why that is. All right, so our egg wash and parmesan. I'm gonna show you what I did. The chicken didn't seem to work quite as easily with like this, but I think chicken is just so watery or fatty. I don't know what the difference is. Don't don't get me to telling you some lie, but it's just different than what the pork was. And so the pork was more firm and held together better. So what I was able to do with the pork was slide it out onto a paper plate. And that worked really well. Hang on, I'll show you what I did. So I did this, and then I did that. Except I forgot seasoning this side, so some seasonings. Actually, I forgot the other side. And seasonings. All right, now we're gonna slide this in. I know it keeps singing to me. So, but watch how much easier it is on the plate. You just plop it in. And then I'm gonna add some seasonings to this side. And then some seasoning that to this side. Come on, fella. All right. So now we're going to go in for six minutes just like the other. All right. And then I'm going to do the, the wash on this one also. And then we'll put it over here. So give me, let's see. So we're going to do the egg wash. But yeah, see that kind of chunky, I don't know. It's just like, like a, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's egg and I don't know nothing about the eggs. But yeah, see that clump? That's what I'm talking about. Is it because I didn't like like uh, whisk it enough or whatever? All right, this time I'm gonna remember the seasonings. Go Terry, good job, good job, girlfriend. You're doing it. You're doing that dang thing. Alrighty. And I don't wanna put that on there until after I get that egg, whoop, whoop. So I get the egg wash in there and the reason is because I don't want that old gummy egg on here. I just, I mean, it's going to get on here in a minute, but, but whenever you do it this way, when you do this part, it kind of gets all over that plastic. So anyway, all right, I'll see you in six minutes and we'll look at the other one that's in there and um, we're going to see what we think of these. So I'll be back in, okay, five minutes. All right, it's been six minutes. So let's see how this looks. Ooh, look at that. That's looking good. Let's see if we can get her flipped. I wonder if I should spray this again. I don't know. I'm not gonna, but I wonder if I should spray it like after I do a couple. All right. See you in six more minutes. Okay, it's been six minutes. Let's take a look at it. Is that side? Let's look at the other side. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, let's get this last one in there. And we will take a look as soon as we get them all done. All right, I'll see y'all in 12 minutes, and then we'll look at all of them. But I want to, I want them to cool because I want to be able to take a bite of each of them. So this was probably not the best one to use. Poor thing gets a little bit, um, you know, a little bit bendy because it's getting melted. But it's all right. It's all right. You'll be all right, little feller. Okay, so here it is. We have one, two, three four of the breakfast ones and one two of the burger pockets so that's how they're looking again guys when i eat these i ain't gonna be able to tell you the macros on those things but it's all right it's all right now let's give them each a try so this one is the breakfast one with the eggs and the bacon pieces and cheese mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
taste the bacon, <clears throat> the eggs, the cheese, the sausage. I'm assuming that's done. It's a little pink, but I think it's done. If this video comes out, but you never see any other videos, you know I'm dead. All right, this one, you know, I died of the, I don't know, impetigo or whatever it is that is, botulism. Now, this one's our burger. So, this has got the burger, the cheese. Perfection. Like literal perfection. That's going to be my lunch. Anyway, if y'all want to try them, let me know if you do try them. Because by George, I don't regret it. So I doubt you will either. All right. Love you. Bye.